Hey, it's Dan Nickerson. In this video, I'm going to do a multi-page demo. I'm going to show you how to set up a multi-page website using a meta domainer. And one thing I want to mention is that you can use domain forwarding and masking for a multi-page website. However, the URL is going to stay the same in the browser, so they will not see that they are on a different page. So if you're going to use a multi-page website, I really kind of recommend you use an add-on domain or a regular hosting account, and you're going to need to upload the pages. So if you want to do a multi-page site, that's the best thing to do anyhow. does work with forwarding, but the pages won't show in the browser bar, so I hope that helps. So in order to do a multi-page website, the first thing that you need to do is set up a menu. Okay, So I'm going to go into Appearance and Menus, and I'm going to create a new menu. And I'm going to use the site um, mainweekly.com, which I own for this demo. So I'm going to type in Main Weekly as the name of the menu and I'm going to click on create menu. Now I'm going to do three pages just like I do on the regular small biz demo for this demo. And the first page, the URL is going to be uh, contact .html. I'm going to do HTML. I'll do I'll do HTML. I'm going to do HTML. You can do HTML or PHP. And then I'm just going to call this contact and add to menu. And then I'm going to do services .html and I'm going to call this services. Okay, and I can do, uh, I'll do an about page as well. So I'm going to do about, oops, I'm going to do about.html and I'll call this about. And that's it. And I'm just going to sort these up and do it like that. So that's the menu. I'm going to save this menu. Okay, now I'm going to go into meta domainer and I'm going to click add a domain. And I'm going to call this main weekly. Dot com and I'm just going to label it as home. I'm going to choose the small business template. I'm going to type in main weekly and I'll do the custom menu is main weekly. And I'm just going to, for the sake of this, I'm just going to use some short codes. I'm going to do a little, actually I'll drop the small biz template in here and I'll just say it's main weekly. Actually, watch this. This will be uh, this will be clever. I'm going to do main week. Oh, once again, I've not rehearsed this at all. I'm going to just leave that main weekly. I'm going to get rid of the rest of this for now, just for the example. So I just deleted the rest of that content. Okay, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to publish this. So now this page looks like this. It's got main weekly. It's got main weekly, it's got about services and contact, and there's nothing down below, right? So I'm just going to leave that as is. Now I'm going to make another domain, and I'm going to say it's mainweekly.com, and I'm going to call it about. And I'm going to choose a small biz template, and I'm going to put main weekly in here. And I'm going to do the menu. I suppose it's not. Here, I'm, I'm, I, I should have just <laughs> I should have just copied that. Okay, I'm not going to bother with the meta title description, so I'll keep this thing short. And I'm going to go in here again. I'm going to drop in that small biz uh, code again, and I'm just going to get rid of the top section. Uh, once again, I'm not about designing the pages for this demo. You, you'll figure that out. This is just about showing how to do the multi-page stuff. So I'm getting rid of all that. And I'm going to click on Publish, and I'm going to go back here. And now that's the about page, see about us. And now I'm going to go back and click add a domain. And I'm going to call this mainweekly.com services. I'll just, while I'm here, I'll just drop this in here. And I'm going to go and get rid of the top part and the bottom part. So it's just that. And then I got to go and select the small biz template, and I can paste in main weekly and main weekly and do that. And I'm going to click on publish on that one. And now this looks like services. Oh, see, I made a mistake there. What did I do? I didn't get rid of that section. That makes sense. Oops. Click on update. Go back here. Reload. Uh, I was a little a little sloppy here. I didn't finish deleting everything. That is the closing section there. I guess I did. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's not good. There we go. 
So you just basically have to have an opening and a closing on the section short codes. It all depends on what template you want to use too. But there are services, okay? And so finally I had contact, right? So I'm gonna click on add domain and main weekly com and contact I think I need to have add a home thing I'll drop in this code again and I'm gonna go down here and go up <laughs> humor me I'm a little slow today it won't let me scroll up on those which is which is odd it's not it like I said it's not the uh, Having a little trouble with the uh, cut and paste today. I'm just going to do sections instead. All right, so that's that. Click on, uh, oh, I got to choose the small biz template, company name, custom menu, and I'm going to publish. And that gives the contact page. So there's about services contact. I notice how that links to the, that links to the home. So you should notice that that links to the home as well. Okay, so next thing I want to do is, I think that is it for now. So I'm going to show you one other trick here. Let's go back to all domains. Now these are all main weekly, right? Now I want to show you, um, if you want to do like a quick tag, so maybe I want to tag this as main weekly, right? Just so I know all my sites are there. I'm going to quick edit, main weekly, quick edit, main week, weekly. Quick edit, main week, main weekly, and then when I have that, I can just I can quickly pull up all my main weekly pages just by clicking on the tag. So if you have multiple websites with multi pages, you can see them all here. Now, there's two ways to do this. You can download the HTML. You can download. The, I set it up for HTML for the sake of this demo. You can download the PHP, but here's the next step. So I'm going to click download this. I should have done this backwards. Hold on a second. I'm going to clean this up just so I don't it's easier to do um, this is the home page I'm going to download that HTML I'm going to download the about page I'm going to download the services page I'm going to download the contact page so the contact page so you can see how I did that now I'm going to go in here this is the next trick and I need to rename this and so this was the about page and this was the uh, services page and this was the contact page okay and now once again I have not tested this so those are the four pages now I'm gonna go and I'm, I've logged into FTP in the main weekly.com which I have as an add-on domain right so now I'm just gonna take these four pages and I'm gonna load them in over I just upload those four pages now I'm actually going to go to mainweekly.com, which is, of course is already propagated on my server. And oh, it must still have there. You go. I just wrote the reload, and there you go. So there is the main weekly page. Now I hope this works. Click on about. There's the about page. There's the services page. There's the contact page. Wow, this can't. This was honestly this was first take. I've not planned any of this before. So does that make sense? So essentially you can edit these pages to your heart content. The cookie consent notice pops up here. Uh, you can change all this stuff per page. If you were to download the PHP page, um, obviously you can change this all remotely on the fly. So if, once again, use the PHP version, rename the files, change the menu, and you can do that as well. But this is just a really neat way to create a super fast, um, by the way, it's, so it's already live, right? So if I go to main weekly, Okay, so I got main weekly and then about services and contact. It's all set and that goes, but that does not go back. So one thing noticing there is that this does not link back to the main page. So if you're gonna fix that, um, you would fix that in the actual HTML code. So that's another reason to use HTML maybe on a multi-page website. Um, but I will look into fixing the link back to that. But you can always just go and add a home link on, on here as well. Um, if you have full control over the HTML, so I can go in here and I'm gonna open this up, the code, and you can see the full code is in here, right? And so, by the way, I didn't add in the title tags or anything like that, but this is the actual uh, nav brand here. So you could actually change this to go to mainweekly.com 
in each of the HTML templates, and that would solve that problem. So once again, this was just a rough kind of video to show you how to do a multi-page website. I'm sure we'll we'll figure out uh, better ways to do it as well. But I think this is a pretty pretty neat solution to get you going with a multi-page uh, version using uh, as a designer using uh, Meta Domainer. And that is it. I will not probably have this site live on, on Main Weekly. I'm going to throw back up a for sale template, but I hope you enjoyed the uh, the demo.